Hi everybody, um, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Liz. I am a homeschooling mom and an aunt. Today I'm gonna be doing a show and tell that I got from Daiso the other day. So yeah, if you'd like to stick around, please do so and let's jump right into it. This here is just a tracing pad. So it's just really thin paper. Um, my daughter loves to draw right now. So I was actually gonna put this in her um, next year's prize box. I, I've talked about it before in my other videos, but we're gonna be using money this year and I'll have different priced items and she'll be able to save money depending on how well she does in school. I got her a drawing book. And these items cost $150 at Daiso. Um, and this just has blank papers. They're pretty good quality. Man, they're really good quality. I did not realize that they're super thick. They feel like cardstock. So I came across this. This was super cool, right? This is, okay, it says 2019 desk planner with sticky notes. So this is 2019, but when I was looking at it, do you see how it has um, Monday through Sunday here across the top? And then it has names down this side, so you can do it for several different children. But I don't see any dates, so I'm like, why does this have to be 2019? Let's see, it says undated. It says undated. So here it says 2019, but here it says undated for perpetual use, individual weekly plan, up to four people, sticky notes, and weekly layout. Well, look at how cool that is, you guys. $3 at Daiso. And down this right side here, there's little post-its. I thought that was super cool. So I'm kind of excited about this. I'm gonna put it on my desk, see how it works okay, out. Okay, so my grandmother, um, when she was alive, she's passed already, but um, when she was alive, she had these mugs and I believe it was all blue or black. And then once you pour hot water or, you know, you make your hot coffee or tea, um, these stars would start showing up all over the mug. And I totally remember that. So yeah, so I came across this. They had three of them. But I saw this and I had to get it. It was $3. They had two others. I believe it's in my video um, for the walkthrough of Daiso. So it's saying that it's this and then you pour it in and it disappears and turns into this. That's so cool. I was so excited when I saw that. I have not seen them anywhere since. So this one is chicken flavor and all you have to do is add water. And this I believe is the spicy flavor. So it's kind of like Top Ramen, I guess. I don't know, I'm just gonna add water to it. We'll have to see what it tastes like. They're 150 a pack, and it comes with four little blocks. They're individually wrapped, so that's pretty cool. So as you can see, I have this little shelving unit behind me, and there's nothing on my shelves, nothing to decorate. I saw this cute little plant. It's artificial, obviously. I'm horrible with plants. I would love to have plants, but I kill them. I don't mean to, I just don't have the green thumb. But, so it says sweet home. I thought it was super cute and it was $3. So we'll just stick that right there for now. I got this for my daughter and my son and it looks like it's chocolate and strawberry. But I thought that this looked good. It's a cool little treat. I have no idea what it tastes like. Also got them these cute little hamburger cookies. They are burger shaped chocolate filled cookies and we've actually had these before. They're actually pretty good. Um, these cost $2. And the last of the snacks, I got strawberry and chocolate Pocky. If you haven't tried these, they're pretty good. They're little breadsticks dipped in chocolate and dipped in strawberry. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know how these are gonna work, but they're deodorizing balls for your shoes. And I got them for my husband's work shoes because I'm sorry, but anybody that works in a labor-typed job, you're gonna have stinky feet, so you need some de deodorizing stuff. I could barely even say that. Did you hear me? I saw this cute little easel. My daughter is constantly painting on little canvases, and I just thought this was super cute. She could either use it to paint on it, or we can use it to display. 
um, a little piece of her artwork. Okay, I got this for decorations also. This is cute little vase. Look at the color, isn't that pretty? I loved it. It was only $1.50. And then I got these cute little, I don't know, it looks like lavender. Um, and this was $1.50. It was cute and dainty. Uh-oh, is that supposed to stay on there? Uh-oh, that looks, mm, I don't know guys. I think I need to add something to that. That looks a little sad. Doesn't it look a little sad? <laughs> I don't know. We could put it right there though. There we go. That's good for now, right? I lied to you guys. I totally lied. Look, I got another one. So I must have gotten one for my son and one for my daughter. So this looks like chocolate and vanilla and they're little stars. So maybe I'll give this to my son and then I'll give the little pink and chocolate heart ones to my daughter. So that's what I did. Oh my gosh. So they had this little section of Disney stuff and um, I think I recorded it. I believe I did. It should be on my video of the walkthrough. But look at how cute. It's Ariel. And it's, a, I mean, it says multi-case, but come on now. It looks like a sunglasses case or a glasses case. But look how cute that is. And I saw with the whole heart. Isn't that cute? I love the color. I thought it was pretty. Look at that is. Oh, what do you guys think? Hopefully you guys could see it. I don't know with the reflection because for me, um, the best time for me to record is at night because it's my time to just chill and relax and the kids are asleep and it's quiet. I mean, like I said, I have a two and a half year old and he is so rambunctious and he's everywhere and just, it would be so hard for me. So I have to do it at night. And unfortunately, nighttime, there's no natural light. So I have to use lighting. So if you see reflections in my glasses or glares and I don't know, I, I apologize for the lighting to not be wonderful and I completely wish it was. And maybe later on when my two and a half year old starts to calm down a little bit, I'll be able to record during the day. Um, but for now it's at night and I have fake artificial lighting. So I do apologize if the lighting isn't great. Um, so yeah, sorry, there goes my rambling. I ramble and I'm sorry, but moving on. Okay, so I came across this super cute little kitty. Look at that. And it's for your phone or your iPad. You just clean off the screen. Isn't that adorable? I had to get it. I just couldn't help myself. I really had to get that. I'll just stick it right there for right now. We're not really gonna leave him there or her there, but she's cute. I have been wanting to do journaling with my daughter and my nieces as a co-op, as an art, you know, uh, class. So I've been collecting stuff, so I thought it'd be fun for us to do it together. So I came across this really pretty, look at the coloring on that. I hope you can see it pretty good, but um, it's really soft and it's dainty. So I was thinking where the book is bind, binded, bound, where it's already bound. The binding of the book, we'll stick with that. The binding of the book, I was thinking that we can use this to hang through. So I found this one, look at that. Isn't that super cute? Look at that, I just loved it. So I was thinking we can just hang it through the binding on both ends and I have a bunch of charm to hang on the bottoms of these and it would hang on either side of the journal. So I thought that those were super pretty. Okay, so I got these little bag clips or storage clips, you know, for your chips and things. Aren't those the cutest little things ever? It's a cat. That's a kitty, a panda, panda. And honestly, I don't know what that little guy is. Is that a cat or a little dog or I don't know. It has these numbers here, right? And then you move these, but I don't know what the numbers are for. I have no idea what those numbers are. So if you guys know, please put it in the comments because I have no idea. Does it open? Like, so this just pulls open, you know, you just, pull it apart but I honestly don't know what these things are so if if anybody knows tell me but those are super cute so I got a little um, fabric measuring tape 
60 inches long. So I had to get one because my mother-in-law, she sews a lot and she's been doing stuff with my daughter and she sometimes needs me to measure her. And I don't know where my fabric one is. I have just that old school plain one, the big, you know, the thick regular, I don't know what it is. I'm not a sewer, I'm not a corsage, not corsager, what is it? Crocheter. <laughs> it's really late guys and I just got back from a trip so I am exhausted this caught my eye look how cute that is look at this cute little it's just cute look at that it's cute I like it so that is that next I came across these cute little stationaries look how cute that is can you guys even see it that cat down there cherish every moment of your life Look how cute that is. The little kitties and lipstick and high heels. It's a cute little envelope. You know what we could even use this on is in their journals. And then this is the paper. So that's the top and that's the bottom, guys. So this is different. See how it's kind of see-through? And then this is more solid. The paper is more solid. So I got one more. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's bunnies. We have a bunny, his name is Lucky, and he will be two in October. And he's just the coolest little guy ever. Oh look, they come with stickers. I didn't see that on the other one. See, there's little stickers to seal your envelopes. So here's the see-through one. back and it says share the joy and you double the joy share the joy what share the joy and you double the joy and then here's the regular envelope aren't those so cute look at those bunnies oh my gosh I love it here's the stationary paper they're pretty thin but look how cute that is, you guys. I love stuff like this. Anyways, about our bunny. When he was about two months old after we had gotten him, I started to feel like that he had a little lump under his chin. And I'm thinking, what is this? Like, I had no idea because I haven't had a bunny since I was a kid. So being an adult, I, you know, being a kid, you don't know what's going on when you have animals. Your parents take care of them. So... Um, I started looking on the internet and I saw that they had glands underneath their chin So I figured that it was a gland because he rubs on stuff but as Probably a couple weeks passed by maybe a couple maybe a month. I don't know exactly um, I noticed that it was starting to get bigger So I made a doctor's appointment for him and he has a bunny disease called sniffles and so he got it from the breeder and so we've just we've gone through so much with him we've almost lost him like three or four different times and um he's doing really well now so we feel really blessed to have him i don't know he's just awesome bunnies are so much cooler than i thought they were he is potty trained he goes potty in his litter box if you guys want an animal looking at getting a bunny because they are awesome okay back to the thing I'm sorry so I found these little animal correction tape look at that isn't that so cute so it's a panda bear and I don't know what is that guys if you guys know let me know because I have no idea I just thought it was super cute and then I got myself a little stylus pen for my phone so when I'm editing and stuff I can use this oh it's a um, concealer stick so I have no idea if it works it's by LA colors we shall see guys we shall see I think that's it that's what I got I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm sorry about my rambling feel free to leave me a comment 
Um, if you have a bunny, let me know how your bunny is or how old it is or if it's boy or girl or what kind of bunny it is. Let me know about these clips. What are these little tabs that move with the numbers? I have no idea what that means. I don't know, so let me know about that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys in my comments and please hit that subscribe, the notification bell, and the like. So be blessed always.